Okay, let's move to 22. 22A. These were two free marks. Hooray. Um, identify three <laughs> different multimedia elements on this page. Okay, now, by the way, even though it's... Why? Why, Mr. Wu? Why did you put such an easy question in such a ridiculously hard exam? Okay, because if you've looked up the Board of Studies, uh, and if you haven't already, we're going to over the next few weeks. If you've looked up the Board of Studies, you will see they always have a question like this in the multimedia section. They give you a website or some kind of piece of software, right? And they say, hey, there's some multimedia elements here. Can you tell me what they are, right? Free marks, okay? The key was that you had to re identify specific elements. Um, so you guys got lucky that it said like things like video and images down the bottom. But if you just said audio, you just said audio, full stop. It's like, well, which element are you talking about? Maybe you meant music, right? But audio is a data type that's not actually specifically mentioned there. So if you accidentally did that, then oops. But those are otherwise two very easy marks. So I'm just going to turn this on. Right, okay. Now, the real kicker was in question B, right? So it was kind of a sneaky part A because you needed to know what you did for part A to answer part B. Uh, okay, outline appropriate organizing methods. What's organizing mean? Organizing? In this course, what does organizing mean? Preparing for another process. Yes, that's right. You're going to do something to these files so that you can do something else, right? In the case of a website, you're mainly preparing them for transmitting and receiving, okay? So therefore, you organize them, you format the files in such a way that they're good for transmitting and receiving. Now, most of you sort of got that. The idea was data compression, right? But you need to say, yeah, the images, well, we put them in JPEG. That's the way you organize them. Organizing is not, <clears throat> they were laid out in a nice orderly line at the bottom of the page in a very organized fashion rather than put in a random file. That's not organizing, okay? That's organizing in a general sense, but you guys have been doing this for months. You know what organizing means in this course, right? Again, three easy marks. Part C, okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's scroll down. Yeah, now, I've listed out a whole bunch here for you. Now, the point of me listing these out is so that some of you, I think, felt like, man, Two kinds of, I can't think of two kinds of jobs. That's so hard. I could feel as I read your answers that you were really stretching. You're like, ah, I don't know. They, people, people hold the mic, I guess. You know, that's, it's okay. I think I paid that because I felt somewhat bad for you, right? But these are really what we're talking about, right? Animators, 3D modelers, effects, pyrotechnics, sound effects, Foley. A lot of people said Foley because we spent like half a lesson on it. Um, <laughs> So if you are looking for two, there's tons, okay? There's, there's plenty here. Now, you had to talk about, because the question says describe, right? Describe the jobs. Don't just tell me, okay, there was a job and a made up, full stop, okay? You need to describe the nature and function of those jobs, particularly in relation to the data they produce, because it says specifically related to the production of multimedia components, okay? So that's what I was looking for to get the four marks, two for each different role. Any questions on that? Right. So let's have a look at this. Um, this is part D. This is getting the, um, the file size. And it says in brackets, do not evaluate the file size. But some of you are like, no, nah, I'm a James Drew student. I'm in 10J. I'm going to evaluate it anyway. <laughs> if you did that, I didn't do dark marks. But like, what, why? Like, no one's different. Anyway, OK, so where do the numbers come from? Um, you tell me, 130, what's that? Minutes. Minutes, okay. So this, whoa, 160? 60. 60? Fix. Okay, the 60 is to get it into seconds because all of the ways that you're going to um, work out all these other numbers, they have to do with frames per second or, you know, a bit rate, that kind of thing. They're all measured in per second, not in per minute, okay? Now, what's this, what's this business here? The 8 and the 1024 cubed. What's the 8? Bits into bytes, right? Because you're going to get this in bytes. Because um, it says calculate it in gigabytes. And then this 10,000, sorry, 1,024, right? I've got to cube it because I've gone from bytes to uh, kilobytes to megabytes to kil gigabytes, right? So I've got to do it three times. All right, so that's what that's about. Um, this here, that's for free. That was the resolution. Everyone got that. 24 is the bit depth. How many colors, right? What's this 30? Some people missed that. And why is it connected to here? 
Here's the here's how many pixels. Here's how many each pixel takes, and this is how many frames per second, right? Because it says um, at 30 frames per second in the first sentence. Yeah. Um, now over here, 44, 100. That's going to be your um, audio bit rate. So 44.1 kilohertz. You had to get that. The 32, 32 bit depth. That's easy. Now some people said either five or 5.1. And multiplied by 5.1, no! 5.1 Dolby sent round sound. What are, what are the 5 and the 1, by the way? They're, they're the different channels, yeah? So the 5 refers to, you've got one main speaker, then you've got four corners, so that gives you 5, okay? And then you've got one bass. bass. You've got the subwoofer, okay? Uh, don't ask me why it's, it's not just called 6 to round sound. Um, I don't know, like 5.1. Because the numbers later, it's, it's deeper. I don't get that. But it's six, okay? So you need to get that there were six channels. But otherwise, you probably just missed a, missed a little item. Okay.